Hey, hey, this is Mark Rodriguez. Wait, wait, what? You just took a shower just for this show? Hey, it's Bill Game Masters. You know you gotta look your best. Yeah, that's why in some episodes, like, your hair looks sloppy or you have all the beard and mustache and you didn't shave for days. Okay, 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 let's just do the show, all right? This is Mark Rodriguez. This is Johnny Rodriguez. And this is Brian from Another Terrible Idea, and you're watching the Video Game Masters. All right, guys, and as previously promised, Brian's gonna talk about the Super Game Boy adapter that works on the Nintendo GameCube. Wait, so we don't have to do nothing? No, because I mean, we don't actually have the device here. We don't even have a GameCube to start off with. So Brian's gonna talk about it, and we're gonna just check it out along with the rest of the viewers. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the floor is yours, Brian. We should do this more often. That's right, guys. The aptly named Game Boy Player can play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games on your big screen all through your Nintendo GameCube. Wait, so how does that work? The Game Boy Player affixes to the bottom of your GameCube with two small screws. The game slot can hold Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games nicely. There is a little slide on the side that helps you eject. Not really necessary, but it's there. Also a slot for your extension cable if you want to um, connect to other devices or uh, like an additional um, Game Boy Advance or something for games like um, Crystal Chronicles. For the games to work though, you can't just have the stuff plugged in. You also need to have the Game Boy Player disc. The Game Boy Player attachment is pretty common. What's harder to find on eBay and such, if you don't have one now, is the disc itself, which kind of uh, been lost in the shuffle for a lot of folks. Um, you can't find replacement. You can even find homebrew discs, uh, which allow you to do a lot more than what you can do with these standard operating systems. Oh man, you gotta like, screw it in and need to, that disc or whatever. Like, I didn't know that. But, um, anyways, guys, let's check out the games. First up, representing the Game Boy, we have Final Fantasy Legends 3. I loved this game when I was younger. This came out back in September of 93, but I probably didn't get it until after having already played through Final Fantasy 2 and 3, going with the US numbering system. Honestly, I don't remember much about the game, so popping it back in for this review was my first time seeing it in possibly two decades. As you can see from my character names, I was apparently pretty heavy into whatever anime I had access to at the time, with Akira, Ataru, and Lum as character names. Borgen as an NPC, so that name was locked in, but I have no idea where the name Itchy came from. If you have any guesses from late 80s or early 90s anime, let us know. Apparently, I played the hell out of this. Check out that gold. That was all legitimately earned. No Game Genie funny business here. Gameplay and graphics wise, this one is actually pretty solid. It has a fairly unique class system, where you can change from human or mutant into cyborgs and robots, or beasts and monsters, respectively, by installing parts or eating different meats. The airship is way too fast at this level, and random battles do happen way too frequently. I literally flew less than two seconds between the two battles and this time around. But as you can see, the enemy sprites are big and detailed. There's not a lot of animation, but they do get the job done. I can't see myself going back and starting this particular adventure over, but if you like Final Fantasy games or Square's Saga series, which this was actually a part of back in Japan, it's worth checking out or adding to your collection. Over on the Game Boy Color, we have Powerpuff Girls Paint the Townsville Green. Well, well, wait, there was a Powerpuff Girls game? Now, I never had a Game Boy Color. I actually got this game just for this review. My on-again, off-again girlfriend, hi Marissa, uh, had one back in the days, but the only game I remember her having was Hello Kitty Cube Friend. But if this game, Powerpuff Girls Paint the Townsville Green, is any indicator, I didn't really miss out. I know there were some great games for the system. Uh, Link's Awakening is always well remembered. Uh, you had Pokemon Yellow and a few more in that series. But this one, ugh, let's just move on. Lastly, the Game Boy Advance. Aside from playing Tetris and Nobunaga's Ambition, the Game Boy Advance functionality was the biggest selling point of the attachment for me. I loved playing Advance Wars 1 and 2, WarioWare, and all my other games on the big screen. One of the best series, though, on the GBA was the Castlevania series. Coming out after Symphony of the Night, Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, shown here, and Aria of Sorrow are a trilogy of high-quality Metroidvanias. They had a great run managing consistent quality in three consecutive annual releases in 2001, 2002, and 2003. Beautiful graphics, even when blown up here, great music, and smooth gameplay. 
This one tells the story of Justy Belmont, Simon's grandson, fighting Dracula and trying to rescue his kidnapped friend Mighty. If you like Metroidvanias, you may be better served with the later Aria of Sorrow, which remains a top-notch choice in the Metroidvania genre, but still, this is an excellent game, it's got a fun boss rush, uh, and it is well worth your time. Well, that was pretty awesome, and I gotta say thanks, Brian, for this special episode, where basically, I guess it was like the Brian episode, so it was kind of cool, with reviewing games and technology that we don't quite have available, so that's pretty awesome. So yes, this is the end of this episode of Video Game Masters, this is Mark Rodriguez. Uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, this is Johnny Rodriguez. And this is Brian from Another Terrible Idea. Thanks for watching, see you next time.